How to choose a Christmas tree. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Christmas hasn't truly begun until the tree is up, but with such a wide selection available, choosing a Christmas tree can be tricky. We've come to the Camden Garden Centre in London for some expert advice on how to find your perfect tree. Step 1. You will need a garden centre or any Christmas tree retailer and a helpful member of staff. Step 2. Norway spruce. Traditionally, the Norway spruce was used in homes as a Christmas tree. This was fine before central heating was invented. Since these trees originate from an area with a very cold climate, it's no longer practical to use them in modern homes as they will not survive long. They are suitable for displaying outdoors or in unheated rooms such as churches. Step 3. Nordman fir and noble fir. Today, the best trees to celebrate Christmas with indoors are the Nordman fir or the noble fir. These trees have a different arrangement of leaves on their branches to the spruce. This means that even if they dry out in warm rooms, they will not drop their needles and your tree will stay healthy throughout the festive period. The Nordman fir has shiny green leaves whereas the noble has matte blue tinted leaves. They are both equally scented. Step 4. Living trees. You can buy Christmas trees that have been grown and potted, ready to plant in your garden once Christmas is over. Although this seems like the most environmentally friendly option, remember that these trees are used to a very different climate, so they may not last very long. In the forests where they naturally live, they can grow to 100 feet, so think carefully before you plant one in your garden. Step 5. Cut trees. Cut Christmas trees live for around 5 to 10 years before they are harvested, so don't feel too guilty for buying one. It will have had a good life and provided shelter for many kinds of wildlife before it's been cut. The trees are grown in blocks. When one block is cut down, many more are planted. Step 6. Shape and balance. Ask someone to take the tree out of the netting, if necessary, and hold upright. Look at the overall shape of the tree and its height. Think about where you're going to put the tree and if you'd be better off with a narrower tree rather than a wide bushy one. Remember that the stand will add an extra 5 or 6 inches to the height of the tree. Ensure that the tree is straight and that the base is straight too. If it's not, it may need trimming. The retailer may be able to do this for you. Step 7. Fit a stand. Buy an adequate stand for the tree according to its height. Ask the retailer to fit the tree into a stand. It will be very frustrating to arrive home with your new tree to discover it does not fit in your stand. It's best to buy one from the same place if possible to save you having to cut it to size yourself. Step 8. Care for your tree. Make sure you buy your tree as late as possible so that it doesn't start wilting before the big day. Keep it well watered in the stand, but don't spray the leaves as you will be using electric lights. Stand it in a cool spot away from the radiators to avoid drying out and prevent fires. Christmas trees are very flammable as they contain lots of pine resin. Enjoy your tree and have a Merry Christmas. Done.